Honourable Member, I call the Minister for Housing. Thanks very much, um, Mr Deputy Speaker. I uh, want to take this opportunity to join with my colleagues in paying tribute to Australia's 23rd Prime Minister, Bob Hawke. Um, we've heard um, an array of amazing stories and anecdotes of the former Prime Minister today, and it is a fitting occasion for our parliament to set aside all other business uh, to recognise the outstanding contribution that he made uh, to our country uh, and with an enduring legacy uh, that he and his family, uh, I'm sure, uh, were proud and continue to be proud of. Um, what an amazing life. Born in Border Town, um, went on to become a Rhodes Scholar, president of the ACTU, very short-lived period of leader of the opposition, and then ultimately Prime Minister of Australia. Uh, he had many academic achievements uh, in his time at Oxford, uh, some of those augmented by uh, his drinking abilities and uh, very famously drinking two and a half pints of beer in 11 seconds, which I understand made it into the Guinness Book of Records. And I suspect uh, that probably had some uh, contribution to his early political success and popularity. He passed up several opportunities to enter Parliament, uh, finally becoming the member for Wills and uh, having had uh, many uh, family members who lived in his electorate at that time uh, from a Lebanese background, I can say uh, the way he represented um, that community and many other migrant communities is something that uh, to this day uh, endures with, within those communities and the fact that he had an Italian pensioners club named after him. Uh, what a great reflection of just how important he was to so many of those new Australians uh, and, uh, and that has never been forgotten since. In many respects uh, I think Bob Hawke reflects the best of what many call old labour uh, and he really did seek in everything he did to represent uh, the best interests of working Australians. Um, he knew what made the average Aussie tick, and I know that's a generalisation, but I think he really did understand what Australian people found important, what they wanted to see in a leader, um, and he was able to easily relate to people. Uh, he wasn't aloof, uh, he was not out of touch, and I think what he exuded so powerfully throughout his life was the fact that he never saw himself above the average Australian punter, to use a well often used phrase. Uh, his famous 1983 election slogan was Bob Hawke bringing Australia together. And boy, in many respects, that's exactly what he did um, as Prime Minister. In fact, uh, Advance Australia Fair, which was first adopted as our national anthem in 1984 by a proclamation of the Governor-General at the time, Sinini and Stephen, but did that on the recommendation of uh, his Labor government. And in many respects, that uh, was a reflection of the ethos bringing Australia together. Many have spoken about the fact that um, Bob Hawke really is the catalyst, along with his treasurer, for opening up the Australian economy, especially to Asia, floating the dollar, reforming the tax system and privatising several large government-owned businesses, many of which uh, had the support of the Liberal opposition at the time. But these were great achievements, uh, great achievements that I know uh, from many interviews I saw throughout his life was a legacy that he was very proud of. Again, it's been remarked on numerous occasions from this side of the House today, but I suspect many of us in the Liberal Party believe uh, that Bob Hawke was Labor's best Prime Minister by a long shot. And um, uh, I think his record proves that. I think his connection to the Australian electorate, his ability to win four elections uh, also proves that. He was also a major player on the international stage. He served our nation with distinction, forging close defence and security ties um, with a political hero of many of those on this side of the House, including myself, Ronald Reagan, and of cordial foreign relations with another giant 
global giant of that era, Margaret Thatcher in the UK. Australians will never forget the legacy and significant achievements that Bob Hawke made to our nation. Uh, the, this building that we're in is a lasting testament to his foresight and vision for a modern Australia, amongst many other much more important things than the bricks and mortar of this building, but this is a visual representation of that. Can I uh, express my deepest condolences and sympathy to his wife Blanche, his children and grandchildren, um, and also recognise um, the late uh, Hazel Hawke, who uh, for many people was uh, absolutely a part of uh, the Hawke duo of his time as Prime Minister, and um, Hazel Hawke was uh, almost as well loved, if not more so, than Bob during those years. I can certainly uh, attest to that from my own family's experience. As the Prime Minister um, recalled earlier today, Bob's mother repeatedly found herself drawn uh, to the words of the prophet Isaiah when she was pregnant with him. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. How prophetic that was to become in his life and to the betterment of our country. May he rest in peace.